decide how we are going to live in these extraordinary times. It's so easy to cheat on that which is out of sight. Because God is not operating inside of the time and distance, our minds have been conditioned to receive it. Get your faith into gear. Come on, let's go. Let's serve God. A society is looking for the kinds of people that know what they believe. Because we're living in the day of the suddenness of God. If you're going to cut back on something, cut back on a little entertainment. But don't cut back on God, because the thing that you greatly fear will come upon you. As I stand here before you, I'll tell you that what I sowed in the past is what now has me living better than I ever thought I would in the present. The suddenlies of God will be the distinguishing sign and wonder between those who live the spirit field, spirit-led life, versus those who live mundane Christianity. We're not trying to get healed, we've already been healed. We're not trying to get blessed, we've already been blessed. I'm not trying to find the presence of God, I've already received the presence of God in Christ. You were no threat to the enemy, but now you are a threat. And I want to just say to you, keep on pressing on. Don't back down, don't sit down, don't let the devil intimidate you. You keep pressing on, you keep going because you're going to break through. And the reason why you felt to step it up is because God was saying to you, step it up. You come to find out that God does truly order the steps of the righteous. You will not successfully navigate these days by just being average or common. God has designed you to live an extreme life so that you can have extraordinary results in your life. We weren't designed by God to be average. extreme people to deal with extraordinary times. You know, the Bible says, let your light so shine before me. God is moving outside of time and distance. You are going to keep on advancing. You're going to fight for the ground that God gave you. They know why they believe it, and they know how to stand victorious in the midst of anything. They didn't shrink back. They wouldn't give up the ground that God gave them. God wants to bring your life to a place where you have nothing missing. Nothing broken in your life. And 2 Corinthians 5, 19 says, To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. 